For part C, it says the lines L1 and L3 intersect at the point A. Find the coordinates of A. So if these two intersect at A, then I can write that A will have to equal this, and it's also going to have to equal this. So if they're both going to be equal to A, then they have to be equal to each other. So I can write negative 3, negative 1, negative 25, plus P2, 1, negative 8, has to equal to 5, 0, 3, plus Q, negative 7, negative 2. And remember, we figured out K was equal to negative 2. So negative 2 again. Now, the way you keep going to solve something like this is you have to do P times 2, P times 1, P times negative 8, keep everything else the same, similarly over here we'll do negative 7Q, negative 2Q, negative 2Q. Okay, and if we want these to be equal to each other, then we can keep going and we can add up these two vectors and get negative 3 plus 2p, negative 1 plus p, negative 25 minus 8p. And we'll want that to be equal to the vector 5 minus 7q, 0 minus 2q, we'll just write that as minus 2q. 3 minus 2q. And then if we want these all to be equal to each other, then we want negative 3 plus 2p to be equal to 5 minus 7q. We want negative 1 plus p to equal negative 2q. And we could keep going. We want the third one to be equal to the third one. But since we only have two unknowns, we actually only need two equations. So let's solve for p in this bottom one. and then take our answer for P and plug it in to the other one. So if we plug it into the other one, well then this equation is going to become negative 3 plus 2 times negative 2Q plus 1 is equal to 5 minus 7Q. And let's go through and solve it for Q. Minus 4Q plus 2 there's a minus 3 out there, it's equal to 5 minus 7q. Add 7q to both sides and I get 3q. Uh, this becomes a minus 1 and I'll add it to the other side and it becomes a 6. And I get q is equal to 2. Now that I q is equal to 2, I can take that, I can plug that in to my formula for p. And then this equation becomes p is equal to negative 2 times 2 plus 1, because I'm plugging in the q, um, well I'm plugging in the 2 for the q. And then that gives me negative 4 plus 1, which is equal to negative 3. So p has to equal negative 3. So how does this help us find a though? Well, now that we know um, p is equal to negative 3, um, we can go and we can plug that in right here. In fact, once we had q is equal to 2, we could have gone back to the first equation, uh, our, sorry, the uh, second equation, and we could have plugged in the 2 right there. And if they want the coordinates of k a, then we just need to solve one of these. Um, so let's just solve this one. We could have solved the other one, it doesn't matter. Let's keep going though. It's going to be 5, 0, 3, and now let's multiply 2 through and we'll get negative 14, negative 4, negative 4. And then simplifying, 5 minus 14, 0 minus 4, 3 minus 4, and I'm just going to write negative 1. So final answer is negative 9, negative 4, negative 1.
That's it.